Hi friend, welcome to Zero Entire. So this is again time to share one more lesson with you. So today we are going to discuss an important topic in the earth science that is the Vulcan. So in this lesson we are going to discuss what is Vulcan, structure of Vulcan. Then third aspect we are going to discuss in this lesson the material which is ejected from the Vulcan and world distribution. So these four aspects I am going to discuss in this lesson. So let us start the lesson. So first that is what is Vulcan. The Vulcan is the most dreadful phenomenon on the earth. So through this Vulcan, the molten material of the rock that is magma, then gaseous, then ash, this product penetrates through the surface and the explosion results and this explosion is called as Vulcan. When we see these products, it resembles like a smoldering coal pieces, like a fireworks in the Deepavali uh, festival. So in that way, that is happening on that particular uh, phenomenon. When these burning uh, pieces fall on the earth's surface, it becomes very harmful. One incident happening on the earth's surface, that is in West Indies, in 1902. So what happens? There is an area that is called as Mount Pili. And from that Mount Pili, there was city, the city is called as Saint Piri. So it is just 8 km away from that Mount Pili. So what happens? Only two peoples are survived out of 28,000. So therefore, this uh, phenomenon is, it is very, very dreadful. When a volcano explodes, because of that, there is formation of huge mountains because the lot of material, igneous material, that is injected from that particular volcano and that is deposited around that crater and that's why there is a formation of mountain. There is a one famous example that is a paracutin volcano. It is uh, near to Mexico that is uh, near about 320 kilometers away from the Mexico. There is formation of mountain and having height that is a 167 meter from the mean sea level. That mountain is created by this uh, volcano. So because of this volcano, there is a formation of mountains also. When first time that magma comes on their surface, the height of that mountain is near about 302 meter. But later on, the height is decreases due to the weathering and erosion phenomenon. The volcano is derived from the Vulcan. Vulcan is the Greek word and which means the Roman god. And in the ancient time, the people said that the that god is situated into the interior of the earth. And some people thought that, so this is a place of fire of God. So one of the best example of Fujiyama volcano, it is a place in Japan. Still people are worship about this uh, place. So now we will discuss the structure of volcano. The volcano, volcano is a group of vent. From that vent, the magma comes out on the surface. So basically the structure of volcano consists of three parts. So first one is the vent. Second one is a cone and third one is a crater. Now we will discuss one by one. So what is vent? Vent is a way through which hot molten material of the rock comes on the earth's surface. And that hole is called as, the hole is zigzag like and that hole is called as vent. The second part of volcano that is a cone. When a ejected mass comes on the surface through the vent and that vent creates cone like structure at the top of the vent. The cone has steep slope and sometimes due to this cone there is a formation of mountain also. Then third part that is a crater. A mouth which is open at the peak of vent and the material or magma comes through this vent or mouth of that particular cone is like a funnel shape. It was almost vertical so therefore it is called a crater. And this large size crater is called as caldera. So there are so many examples in the world having biggest diameter of the crater. So there is an example that is a Buldera crater having 43 kilometer diameter. Second example that is Wallace Mount. It is near to the Mexico or situated in Mexico. So having a diameter that is 29 kilometer. Then third one that is Ascosian which is situated in Japan having diameter near about 25 kilometer. So these are the famous examples of the world. Then next part that is the materials which is injected through this uh, volcano. There are many places in the world that are formed by the volcano. So largest volume in the world that is the Hawaiian Islands. 
having largest volume of the material which is ejected through this volcano eruption. Then second that is the Indian example that is the Deccan Plateau. It is again one of the example and which is formed due to the volcano eruption in the late Cretaceous to early Eocene period. Then third largest that is the Iceland. It is also formed by the volcano eruption in the earlier time period. So when material is ejected through this volcano, so there are three types of the volcano material. One is the solid material, second one is the liquid material and third one is the gaseous material. And when this material is ejected through the volcano having high temperature later on, it become cools slowly. So first we will see solid material. When magma comes on their surface, it is very very explosive. So because of that, the country rock becomes break down and the fragments of the country rock that comes on their surface. And that's why the main composition of the solid material, the pieces or the broken fragments of the country rock. So that is one of the most important uh, deposit. Then this solid again classified into three types on the basis of size of pieces. First one is the volcanic bomb. It is also called as volcanic blocks. Then second one is the cinders and then third one is the ash particle. The size of particles or pieces in the volcanic bomb is greater than 32 mm. When we see the cinder deposit, cinder deposit they are associated with larger particles or larger pieces of the material. So the size of particles particularly cinders is in between 4 to 32 mm and ash particles are very, they are very very fine. So these are the solid material which is present in the when magma is ejected through the volcano. Then second material that is the liquid material. So magma itself a liquid, magma is nothing but the hot molten material of the rock. When it is ejected on the surface, it is called a lava. When we see lava, it having different composition. Sometimes it may be basaltic composition. Sometimes it may be rhyolitic composition. Sometimes it may be andesitic in composition. Same volcano place or same volcano wind gives different type of magma on different times. So magma is a liquid product ejaculated material through this particular volcano eruption. Then third we are going to discuss that is the gaseous material. One of the main composition this volcanic eruption that is the steams. Steams are the made up of water. So steam is the primary composition. Along this steams there is a presence of juvenile water. Juvenile water means the source of that particular water is the magma. There is one example Paracutin volcano. It happens in 1945. In that place near about 1600 tons water daily flows from that particular fit and this water cause floods in that particular rivers. Then beside this second one carbon dioxide this is a gas which is also present in the volcano and it is very very poisonous. Along this there is a presence of sulfur other gases like chlorine, fluorine etc. Beside this sometimes there is a formation of hydrochloric acid sometimes there is a presence of sulfuric acids and their temperature may be ranges from 97 degrees Celsius to 650 degrees Celsius. Many metals are also ejected through this volcano. Among the metals that is iron, zinc, copper, arsenic, antimony, molybdenum, silver, tin etc. So these are the metals also present in that particular world distribution of this volcano. In the world or on the globe there are 500 volcanoes which are either active or have been active in the historical times. Beside this, there are many thousands of volcano spots, but they are now they are non-active, but their cones have not been destroyed as yet. The distribution of volcano, there are three particularly zones. One is the circum-pacific zone. The among two-third of active volcanoes are present in the particular in this zone, and this zone is surrounded with the Pacific zone, and this zone is called as this zone is called as circle of fire. This zone includes Aletian Islands, Alaskan subcontinent, Guntemala, Northern and Southern Andes. So these are the places which belongs to the Pacific uh, region. In these uh, places, most of the volcano activities are going on. Second belt that is the uh, Alpine Himalayan belt. In this zone, volcanoes are not in large number, particularly in this zone. And this belt starts from Madeira and Canary Island. Then third zone that is the African Rift Valley. This zone starts from the Zinia to Red Sea. This zone also have 
some volcano spots but they are very uh, rare compared to the pacific rift zone there are also other volcanic areas in the world also but they having very minimum number of volcanoes which are present in that particular region so this is the distribution of this volcano eruption in this lesson we are discussed what is volcano structure of volcano third aspect we are discussed that is the composition or the materials which is ejected through this volcano and last part that is the distribution of volcano on the globe these four aspect we are discussed in this lesson the remaining part that is the types and classification of volcano that part we we will discuss in next lesson so if you like my video share and subscribe my youtube channel that is you entire all about the earth thank you